why I sat here, what interests me about what I'm looking at is this tumble of organic growing things against all of these man-made buildings. I'm going to try and capture just specifically that idea. So I've put in just some dots to kind of give me some landmarks for where things are. This is going to be the top of the building. There's the sort of crests of these various bushes. There's kind of a bank of another kind of bush or hedge in here. So I've put in these dots and then I'm going to start adding in a bit more detail with line. So this has lots of little round things. So I'm not going to draw every single one, but I put in a few to give a sense of detail. And then I've got the contrast of these really hard edged buildings up here. Some of them actually have some round on them, which is sort of interesting. And if you have trouble with perspective, remember that A, this is just a sketch for yourself. It's not meant to be a beautiful finished painting necessarily. It's more for you to remember. Oftentimes what I'll do when I'm trying to figure out what that angle is, I'll hold my pen either horizontally or vertically. Then I can say, oh, it's about 45 degrees. And then there's some other buildings back here. The specifics of those buildings aren't that important to me. It's more just the notion that there are a bunch of buildings back here. That's probably enough drawing for this sketch. I'm trying to capture the sense of this organic stuff against this man-made rectangular stuff. Next step is to add some color. And this is kind of a mini version of what I do in the studio. One has clean water in it and one has dirty water in it. So I might put a little bit of water on the sky to convey this kind of blue sky with some wispy clouds through it. I want to have clean water so I can do that. It's not quite that sunny a day, so I'm going to take a little bit of burnt sienna to neutralize that down a little bit. There we go. And again, I'm not going to worry about exactly where the clouds are. I just want to give a sense that it's kind of a mixed sort of day. Next comes all this green. And one of the things that's really valuable is to learn how to mix greens. So for the greens, I'm going to accentuate the differences in the greens. And here's an easy way to do that. I'm going to start with sap green. I don't have to mix everything from blue, yellow, and red. So I'm going to make three puddles of my sap green. In one of these puddles, I'm going to take some ultramarine blue. See how that got a to be a cooler green than straight out of the tube. So I'm gonna go in and for the bushes that are kind of a cooler green, I'm gonna put that in. These guys back here. Then there are some that are more yellowy green. So huh, guess what? I'm gonna take some yellow and add it into that puddle of sap green. And I'm using the little brush because I can also get some sense of these pointy little leaves without really painting each one. These pointy guys are almost kind of a bronzy green. So I'm going to take some burnt sienna to my last puddle and see how that shifts it to kind of an olive green. You can see the difference in those three colors quite clearly now. And they all started from the same sap green. And for those, I think maybe the sap green more or less straight out of the tube is probably sufficient because this sap green straight out of the tube will be different from all the other greens because I've shifted all the other greens. I'm not going to try and paint every single little flower. I'm going to try and give a sense that there are boughs of these flowers. And I might do a few little marks to again give a sense of detail. Another great tip for making darks is I use a color called neutral tint. It's not too warm, not too cold. It's a great color to use either on its own or to mix with other colors to really get them to be dark right away. So I can pop a few of those in using some neutral tint. And I can also use a bit of that neutral tint with this yellowy green to just shift things so that it just has a bit of variety in it. Okay, the buildings are still blank and I would ask myself at this point, is that okay? Is it about the colors of the buildings? Does it feel unfinished? It feels a little unfinished. So what I'm going to do is use 
just a little bit of this neutral tint again. There's something on those floors that's really dark. And that may be enough. This to me captures what interested me, which was all of this tumble of different colored organic growing plants against the man-made rectangular shapes or geometric shapes of the buildings. <laughs>